Welcome back, humble traders. Today I'll be doing a technical breakdown on JD.com because symbol JD. If you are new to the channel, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more charting and price manipulations. Do note that I'm just humble charties and I do not provide any buy or sell calls. Instead, I focus on the potential traps laid out by the market makers. Always remember the stock market is never obvious. It is designed to fool most of the people most of the time. Without further ado, let's take a look at JD. So JD, you can see that um, it very much had a double top. And according to some of my friends, apparently there was some like bad news on JD. So it, it took about uh, a 5 to 6% uh, correction today. If you were to ask me, I think it's um, relatively good. You can see that there's no big drop in volume. So if there's no big drop in volume, that means it's a pure sign of manipulation. And the sellers are not genuine. The sellers are actually the buyers trying to shake out the retail investors. So let's take a look at the 15-minute um, chart to get a better idea of JD. So you can see that there was this uh, big, um, big gap down to actually uh, scare retail investors and thereafter they continue to slide down uh, further. So you can see that this is uh, always a, a trap because $60 is a psychological um, support, you see. So when $60 is a psychological support, what, what market makers would love to do is that they tend to push prices down to about 59 to 58. And that's where most um, um, retail investors actually put their stop losses here. So once these stop losses get triggered and then suddenly there's a, um, a trend reversal. So um, I, I don't expect uh, JD to, to completely close the gap today, but in the event they can close about 61 or 62 um, dollars, then that will be a good, so long as it doesn't finish at the bottom. If it doesn't finish at the bottom, that means um, sellers are not genuine. Um, and retail investors actually have been stopped out at about 58 or 59 dollars. So the best advice um, to, to learn here is actually that um, you never put your stop losses just because psychological support levels because it may get triggered. And once it gets triggered, then um, the market makers will just buy it up and the, you, you, you'll be selling at the bottom, uh, basically. Okay, let's take a look at the daily chart once again. So you can see it at the double top here. And um, you can see that JD is actually being supported on this support very strongly, um, three times in fact. So it is a very, very strong support. And you can see that the rate baseline here is also uh, acting as a very good support for JD. So in the event that we manage to hold and we can close around $61, $2 a day, then I, I don't think there will be anything um, not, to, not, to, not, not to be too concerned about because uh, there's still uh, buyers coming in. There's still a support that uh, buyers are willing to hold the prices up. And hopefully tomorrow, since it's a Friday, we can have a good close for JD.com. So yeah, if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe as you keep the up channel, channel intact. Leave in the comment section below your thoughts on this particular stock or if you have any other stock tier requests. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.